The Huxley Wilberforce debate on Darwin's theory of evolution. So where it all began. The whole conflict was based on this guy, Charles Darwin. And his book, The Origin of Species. The book was based on Darwin's belief that populations evolve over the course of generations through the process of natural selection. Darwin's evolutionary theory states that evolutionary change comes through the production of variation in each generation and that an individual's survival is based on a combination of these variations. Individuals with characteristics which increase their probability of survival will have more opportunities to reproduce and their offspring will also benefit from inheriting those characteristics. The book was published in 1859 and sparked a whole lot of controversy. Prior to this theory, the main belief of, the, of 19th century Europe was that God created the world. He is the creator of all things. From the birds in the sky to the fish in the sea. But one of the main points being that God created man separately from the animals. We were made in his image. He created the man, then the woman, and the world was good. Not that he created apes, that over a few thousand years we inherited some great characteristics, became smarter and more efficient than our ape ancestors, then ruled the world. But back to the debate. So first you have Samuel Wilberforce. The English Bishop of the Church of England and renowned as one of the greatest speakers of his day. Being a bishop, Wilberforce had a firm belief that God created the world and completely rejected Darwin's views. Next, you have Thomas Huxley. This guy is an English biologist who was a diehard fan of Darwin's book and even racked the nickname Darwin's Bulldog. On the 30th of June in Oxford, one of the greatest debates of all time took place. Conflict between the two contenders was inevitable, both men having extremely different belief systems. Wilberforce, with, along with the majority of people, clinging on so clearly to the Christian theory of how we came to be, a theory which has been intact for thousands of years, all of a sudden being completely changed with an idea so outrageous it's that it sets the church up in arms. However, one of, one of the most famous parts of the debate is when Wilberforce attended, attempted to ridicule Huxley by asking him whether it, it was through his grandfather or his grandmother that he claimed his descent from apes, the crowd cheering in support of Wilberforce. Huxley, refusing to be mocked, rebuked that he would much rather have an ape for an ancestor rather than a bishop who distorted the truth. The crowd cheering for Huxley even more so than Wilberforce. It was at this point where Darwin's theory was finally earning the right to be heard. The only problem with all of this is that it may be completely untrue. Unfortunately, there was no official verbal transcript recorded on the day, so no one really knows exactly what was said, many referring to the bait as a myth or a legend. However, despite the speculation over the debate, science was finally becoming independent from beliefs of the Bible. With the contents of the debate still being argued today, the undying battle of science and religion. Believers these days still resenting Darwin's attempt to eliminate God out of the creation story and Darwinists resenting the close-minded reaction of the Christian community. However, as advancements in scientific knowledge increase every day, it is becoming more difficult for people to simply ignore Darwin's theory, 
for example, fossils, comparing the skulls of an ape to that of a human. Another example is the peppered moth, who were originally white, then due to industrial pollution, the trees turned black and eventually, adapting to the change, so did the moths, giving them better camouflage for predators. However, the white moths slowly dying out as they could not blend with the darker trees. In more recent days, antibiotic resistant bacteria, the bacteria evolving and becoming resistant to the antibiotics. The evidence for Darwin's theory grows every day, however none of the, that is written in Genesis. Prior to the debate, people's belief systems about the origins of life were based on the Bible almost exclusively. However, with more and more evidence, Darwin's theory has become a harder issue to simply ignore.